The video will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember, if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video, please follow the link below. Also note that you can post anonymously. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Silverstone Heligon HE01 CPU cooler. This is a fairly plain looking box, although it does have a few pictures of the product on it, as well as features and specifications about it. There's one security seal, let me cut that. Now let's have a closer look and see what's inside. They include a user's manual. A box and in it there's a whole bunch of stuff and everything in here is used for installing the CPU on the motherboard and they even include some thermal compound. The heatsink itself is neatly packaged in lots of styrofoam so it will not get damaged in transportation. Let me take it out. It's also in a plastic bag and in the center here is a fan and let me remove that. And here's that fan. Now let's have a closer look at this cooler. Now this heatsink will fit pretty much any socket currently on the market. It is fairly large as you can see. It comes in like two different sections and there's tons of fins. Now let me go over some of the specs on this particular heatsink. It comes with a nickel coated copper base, lots of heat pipes and many aluminum fins. There are six heat pipes and each one is six millimeters in diameter. Note that they go through this base and come up into these many aluminum fins. The dimension on this cooler is 140 wide by 119 deep by 160 high. That's without the fan though. And it weighs in at 926 grams, but that is also without the fan. And remember to remove this sticker here before installation. The fan that they include is very substantial and it includes a braided pass through four pin connection. This is a 140 by 140 by 38 millimeter fan. The noise level on this is from 18 to 41 decibels. Also, the start voltage on this is 9 volts. Of course, this is a 12 volt fan. The airflow is 42.8 to 171 CFMs, and the RPMs will range anywhere from 500 to 1200. A fan like this, coupled with a massive heatsink, means really good performance. And actually, this cooler is intended for use with CPUs up to 300 watts, so you have no problem with the Intel Core i7. 3960X or any other kind of high-end CPU. This fan also comes with a switch so you can set it to a quiet mode or a performance mode. Installation of this fan is very easy. First of all, just slide it down and then use these included clips for them to attach the fan to the heatsink like so. You just have to put the ends through the holes on the fan and then just snap them into place and you do this all the way around. So two clips on this side and two more on the other side. Remembering to leave this switch at the top for easy access. Finally, have a listen to the 140 millimeter fan first on the quiet setting. And now on the performance setting. If you're in the market for a hardcore CPU cooler, well, this would certainly be it. It is a perfect 
option rather than going water cooling. Now, it will not give you the performance, obviously, that water cooling will, but pretty darn close, especially with the sealed advanced liquid coolers that are on the market. Now, the technology behind this is nothing new. You have a nice, solid, nickel-coated copper base, many heat pipes, and lots of fins. So, the heat pipes will draw all that heat away from the CPU you into the mini fins and the fan will then port all that warm air out of the case. Now one very important thing with coolers is to make sure that they fit in lots and lots of cases and this one will. Remember the height on this is 160 millimeters and the standard height for most cases on the market for clearance for CPU coolers is around 164 millimeters. There is really nothing not to like about this CPU cooler. It performs well, looks great, and includes a large 140 millimeter fan. And that fan also includes a switch, so you can control the speed right on the fan. Of course, you can just set it to a high speed and then let either the motherboard do the job or you can have a fan controller that would also control the speed on this fan. So that is completely up to you. Remember though, if you are doing something CPU intensive, you do want to crank that fan up to make sure that the CPU remains as cool as possible. Without a doubt, this is a 100% kick-ass product. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.